So in this video, we'll take a look at how to compute the cash flow of um, an investment over several years uh, spe with special attention paid to the terminal value or the salvage value. When you have the salvage value, uh, when you're trying to sell the asset before its complete book value becomes zero. So in this example, you have a machine that's worth $3,300 that you need to buy. You're deciding whether to buy or not. And uh, it'll earn a revenue, um, annual revenue of $5,000 and a cost of goods sold of $3,000. So, so the difference between these two is your annual profit before depreciation and tax. And let's say your tax rate is 30% and you can depreciate this asset over 10 years um, on a straight line basis so that your depreciation per year is this total cost divided by 10, which is $330. And so your reportable uh, or taxable income every year is uh, 1,670, which is 5,000 minus 3,000 minus 330, which is uh, this one here, B3 minus B4 minus B7. And your taxes are 30% of this amount, which is $501. And your net income is $1,169. To which if you want to compute the cash flow, you need to add back your depreciation, which is $330. So you add that back here and you get this cash flow. And let me just put that here. So in year zero, your cash flow is uh, a negative of this amount, which is what you pay for the machine. And year one onwards, your cash flow is 1,149. Now, let's say you want to keep operating the machine for eight years and thereafter you want to sell it. Now, notice here that your depreciation is allowed over 10 years. So over 10 years, the book value of your machine will become zero. But over eight years, it'll just be um, the cost of the machine minus eight times your depreciation per year, which is $660. So at the end of eight years, your machine is worth $660 on the books. That is as far as your tax calculation is concerned. So if it's market value at year eight, at the end of year eight is $900, then the taxable gain is 900 minus 660 which is $240 and you need to pay a tax of 30% on the $240. So you need to pay the $70, $72 of tax and your net after tax cash flow from the terminal value, TV is terminal value, is your estimated resale value minus the tax you need to pay, which is $872. So you need to now adjust your last year's cash flow to say H11 plus this D6 so that you now have $2,327 as your terminal cash flow. And you can compute your net present value as uh, follows using the NPV function at a rate of 12% and all these values here and your net present value is $4,481 and your internal rate of return is all these values at let's say some kind of a guess rate and your internal rate of return is 43.51%. So that means um, you should buy this machine based on this analysis.